The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, How can the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord God said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how can be his son? And the large crowd was listening to him with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Our first reading of today speaks about the healing of the blindness of Tobit. If you are here this week, our first reading speaks about the story of Tobit and Tobias, Tobias and Sarah. He was blinded due to the bird's poof that causes him cataract. Because I go back to our readings and it was on a Tuesday, Tobias, you know, he was resting one day and he slept by the wall of the orchard, it says, and his face was uncovered because of the heat and the readings during that day he said I do not know that there were sparrows on the wall sparrow their fresh droppings means the poof of the sparrow fell into his eyes that produced white films and that causes him to be blind Today, we are told that he regained his sight. He was healed. Not because of the fish gall that cured his blindness, but he was cured because of his obedience to the word of God through angel Raphael. It says here, he was healed not because of the fish gall, you know, that's the medicine. He had a cataract. It says, smear the gall of the fish on his eyes. The medicine will make the white film shrink and peel off from his eyes. And your father will regain the sight and see the light. Our first reading for today is telling us to be his eyes was open he regained his sight he was able to see again not because of the medicine and that is the the fish goal but he was healed he regained his sight because of obedience to the Lord and our first reading of today is very clear that obedience to the Lord always brings blessings. Always. Obedience to the Lord always brings healing. That's why, my dear people of God, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, if we wanted to be healed, the cure is obedience. To the Lord. If we wish to be blessed like Tubit, do not neglect the commandments of God. Today we are challenged to obey and never forget to thank the Lord 
for your blessings. When Tubit regained his sight, you know, he was grateful. First challenge is obey the Lord. Trust the Lord rather than trusting the medicine. He was cured not because of the medicine, but he was cured because of his obedience. When he was cured, he blessed the Lord. He was grateful. Today, the second message that I would like to share with you, my dear friends, is this. Be grateful like to be. Open your eyes. Acknowledge and recognize God's blessings every day. And you heard me this one, I said this before, we are 99% blessed. We are swimming in the ocean of God's mercy. We are floating in God's blessings 99%. If we are not grateful, we are blind. If we don't recognize how blessed we are, something wrong with our eyes. You know what? Grateful people are those who see the blessings of God. Grateful people are those who are able to see the blessings of God. That's why our responsibility on some of today is challenging us to praise the Lord. Give praise the Lord. Together with one voice, let us bless the Lord by echoing our responsorial psalm. And I like the first stanza of our responsorial psalm. It says, I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to be grateful every day, all our life long. Lord, thank you for the good weather. Lord, thank you for the sunshine. Lord, thank you for the good health. Lord, thank you for my family. Thank you for this community. And thank you for waking up me this morning. Thank you for all your blessings. If we are not grateful, it means we are blind. Because grateful people are those people who are able to see the blessings of God. Let me end my reflection by saying, Obey the Lord, and you will be blessed. Be grateful, and your blessings will be doubled. I say it again, Obey the Lord, like to be, and you will be blessed. Be grateful, be thankful, and your blessings will be doubled.